nothing, nothing at all, screams out video like blown out highlights. And I've heard that in some cases, that is a creative decision. Not clipping the highlights and how a camera handles highlight roll-off is what really sells the cinematic look and feel to me. So check this out. Welcome to Quick Takes C70 Edition, where we tackle a single subject or feature of the camera in a shorter video rather than waiting for a full review that's months down the line. And basically, you get to come along my journey as I get to know the camera and work on my full review. Today, we're going to be talking about highlight roll off and highlight recovery. Does the Canon C70 have that cinematic highlight roll off or does it suffer from the video look? Thank you for checking out the channel. What we're doing here is building a community of filmmakers, content creators, cinematographers, people at different skill levels, where we can all share content, knowledge, and information so that we can all level up together. If you're into that type of thing, please subscribe. And yes, I overexposed this shot. direct sunlight on skin and hair, it's just not forgiving. But I need to be very clear about this. I did not clip the highlights. I used false color. I basically took my exposure all the way to the clipping point where I could see red on my image, skin, and on the hair, and then I dialed it back just enough for me not to see any red in false color. When I turned false color off, uh, it got a little scary because I had a very, very bright image where I could not see any texture or tonality in the skin tones or in the hair. And that is how we rolled. So let's take the mystery out of it and check out what my final color corrected and color graded image looks like. Thank goodness for false color because the EV meter was not helpful at all in that shot. Having built in onboard exposure tools that are useful in a run and gun situation is why I choose cinema cameras over hybrid cameras. Let's talk about the recovered shot. It's got good overall exposure. It's got great dynamic range. Color is on point. No hot spots on her face and no hot spots on her hair. Skin tones look great. There is no clipping, like none, no clipping. No blown out highlights and no crushed dark areas. And to top that off, there is no noise in my image. The DGO sensor in the Canon C70 coupled with the image processing that is happening in camera is why I keep saying with the Canon C70, you do not need raw. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment. And if you want to be awesome, be sure to smash that like button. Until next time, I'm Carlos and I will catch up with you guys in the comments. Take care.